This is a video just showing my cutting table area and as you can see I have about seven sections of cutting table however because we have so much storage or warehousing behind it I'm really only able to use two sections for actual spreading. Um, we actually do most of our mass production um, out, outsourced. So this is for very small production anyway. But what I wanted to explain to you is how we have created our own fabric spreader that we use manually. So what you're seeing here are two brackets that were designed to clamp onto the edge of the cutting table and uh, let's see if I can get a picture of the bracket down below here. And then up above there is basically a, a slot that accommodates this bar. Now the two cones, one on each end, are completely adjustable so that we can put it through the roll of fabric and then adjust it uh, with the um, narrow side of the cone inside and make it snug enough so that the fabric pulls off the roll very easily. Uh, you're also seeing three long bars here and these are the bars that we use when we're um, doing the spreading to ensure that every lay is exactly the same distance um, lengthwise and, uh, and you'll be seeing that further in the video and I also will be explaining how we incorporate these uh, L-shaped brackets which is where we place these uh, long flat rods. There's four L-shaped bra brackets and that's going to be coming up. This is just a close-up of how the cone that is uh, adjustable on our um, rod goes into the core of the fabric roll. And this shows how the fabric uh, roll that is on this rod fits into the bracket slot right here. I'm just showing the beginning of the fabric coming off the roll. Uh, where we start is to line up one edge of the fabric along um, a set distance from the edge of the table. On that side of the table we basically just have a ruler. Uh, we may make it a little bit wider than that, maybe not. It depends on how wide our fabric is. And as I continue in the video, I notice that the, um, later on in the video, it's going to get difficult to hear me because I'm piecing this together. So what I will say now is that one of the most important things is when the two people are pulling the fabric off of the roll, that we pull it absolutely evenly together so that the fabric always remains um, straight and doesn't get off bias and the rest of the video is pretty much just self-explanatory. The edges of the tables are metal, so what I've done is taken a L-shaped bracket and put it on magnets to hold it in place, and I make sure that it is uh, square and level well, square anyway, with certain lines that I have marked on the table. These lines are marked at equal distance on both sides of the table. And this is where the long piece of metal goes in so that we can wrap around it when we're spreading back and forth. So what we have to do is we're going to be pulling these evenly, so we have to make sure both operators are pulling at the same time. And this just keeps everything on grain. And we have a series of um, straight rulers here, so what we're going to be doing now is I'll pull, it's three rulers, I'll pull the bottom one out. And I'll slide it over to Heidi, and then we're going to bring it between the fabric and put it in these L-shaped brackets and pull it snug without stretching the fabric. 
and then we evenly bring it back. We're very careful to keep at least one of the edges always the same distance from the edge of the table. And then we just get the air out. This is a laminate fabric, so it tends to get a lot of air in it. Okay, so now it's Heidi's turn, and she's going to pull the bottom ruler out of the other side, and we'll put it on the top and start pulling again. And basically, we're just using these three rulers back and forth. And my turn again, and so on and so on until the whole roll is completely stacked. Now here's the lay after it's finished. This is a very small one. It's only about 16 layers. We don't need a tremendous amount of this product. And I just wanted to show you the end so you can see how the plies are all even. Even though this is fairly low tech, this is pretty square. And all the edges are still even. And now all we have to do is uh, take our rods out and take these elf shaped brackets just pull those right off because the, they're just on magnets as i said and then we'll be uh, laying our markers down and cutting out this product